Hello all, welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about few of the very simple but very much uh, helpful activities which is providing by UI path. Okay, so uh, in your UI path, just search for Windows and uh, keyword. Okay, so if you search for, you can see an entity called Windows. I insert that UI path is providing around seven activities. Okay, so these are few of the activities which we will not frequently use as part of automation. Okay. But these activities has very much importance if you are going for uh, the complex uh, automations which involve multiple application. Okay, so these uh, activities are not uh, constrained to any particular uh, uh, application. It's not like web application or for desktop or a PDF or Word. We can use these activities for almost for all the applications. Okay, so this will be helpful if our automation process involves multiple applications at the same time okay so just consider like if you are opening up a web application and as an input to that application you are opening up an excel and uh, at the same time you are opening up a desktop application or some other new browser and you are getting some new uh, data from <coughs> that web application or from that desktop application and you need to get those data and you need to paste it to the another application like that frequently you need to switch to different applications for uh, doing the um, processing okay so at that time these activities will be helpful okay so let's go to one by one so the first activity is get active window so what's the purpose of that so it retrieves the current active window and enable you to perform multiple actions within it okay so just consider like if you are switching from one application to another and at the top you may be able to see an active window right and if you want to action something on that particular active window you can use this get active window okay so get active window it will capture the particular uh, uh, active window in the screen and we can give a set of activities inside this get active window to action on that particular active screen okay i hope that is clear so suppose if you have opened multiple uh, uh, browsers or multiple uh, session in your uh, desktop and uh, at the current stage if there is one particular page called a is uh, active in your screen and you want to action some uh, something okay on that particular screen means you can go for get active window and inside that you need to provide the actions okay or uh, the activities okay then it will perform on that current active window screen okay then the next one is hide window okay so hide window means like uh, uh, just consider like if you open two applications okay uh, one is pdf and one is an uh, browse browser okay so currently browser is an active window and if you want to uh, hide that uh, hide that window then the active window will be your pdf right and you want to get some data from that okay so those kind of stages you can use this hide window so hide window will uh, totally uh make your screen invisible okay or the active session to invisible Hi, uh, hides the uh, uh, indicated window this makes a window completely invisible okay then the next thing is maximize window as we all know if you want to maximize the uh, screen or maximize the session we can use the maximize window minimize is like uh, the vice versa like if you want to minimize the uh, size of that particular uh, screen you can use a minimize uh, uh, window and the next thing is move windows okay so this will help to change the position and dimension of the indicated window so just consider if you open up a browser okay so and if you have given maximize means it will be in a maximized uh, screen right you can see uh, your entire screen uh, will be opened as a uh, chrome uh, uh, as a, as that a web browser right and just consider as a nest what you need to do you need to uh, just reduce the size of that uh, web browser and you need to move that to some corner okay what you can do you can use this move window activity okay so it will help to minimize the size of the screen or minimize the size of the web browser and you can move that to some particular uh, xy uh, direction okay so that's a of a move uh, window what is a restore window <coughs> restores a specified window to its original size and position so whatever changes that you are doing to that particular uh, window or to that session if you give restore window that particular uh, window will get restored to its uh, initial state 
okay so that's a so far a restore window show window means like once you hide that window as part of your automation if you want to make it visible again you can use the show window okay so again for this also you will have to provide the uh, session window side okay then only you, that particular session will get enabled again so uh, i will do one thing let me use use application bar browser mm, let me open up a chrome let me search for ui bank so what i'm going to do is i'm just opening up this particular uh, browser okay and uh, we'll be going to uibank.uipath.com and uh, i will show you like what are these activities and how this activity will be useful okay so just uh, indicate on this application okay so it has captured that uh, you are uibank.uipath.com okay then what's the next thing that we need to do we need to use the get to, uh, active window okay so get active window means it's not like uh, it will always action on this particular uh, uh, session if you uh, open some browser or another application during this time it will consider that as an active window okay then it will action on that particular active window it doesn't mean like uh, it will action always on this use browser uh, chrome or uh, on this ui bank session uh, whatever the active window at this particular stage it will consider that as an active window and it will action the other things on that particular uh, window okay i hope that is clear and as an output of a get active window we'll have to create a uh, windows uh, a variable so let me do that uh, i'm going to give it like a session okay so i put a like a session then inside the do what i'm going to do is i'm going to maximize the window okay so which uh, session that we need to do we need to maximize this session right maximize this particular window or this particular session i need to maximize okay so this will act like a container okay see this get active window will act like a container so using this session id we can uh, do different actions on this particular active window okay maximize window then what we can do uh, uh, okay okay before do this let me give minimize minimize window session okay let me give a delay here okay so this is just for a demo purpose uh, i am doing this video okay so after this you will be able to understand where you can use these uh, activities okay so delay then copy this paste it over here then here we are minimizing the session then we are maximizing that then what is the next thing mm. okay uh, we can move the window right so move the window means like wherever you want to move and if you want to reduce the dimension you can use this move window okay so here it will ask for height and width of the particular window and to which direction it need to be moved uh, like if you, if you need to move to some x y particular direction you can give this uh, uh, details and window is our session id so that is a session and suppose if i am giving the height like um, 600 and uh, width i am giving like 500 okay it will reduce the size of that particular window to this particular height and to this particular width okay so that is the purpose of a move window then let me hide that particular screen okay so we are giving a delay so it will move the window then it will uh, hide that particular window then what's the next thing that it has to do so once it has uh, uh, hide then it need to 
show again right so it need to show again so that is the purpose of show activity so again we have to give the session id okay so uh, this all things are based on this get active window okay so um, if we get a current active session what are the activities that we need to perform in that session we can give inside this particular container and it will action all those things on the current active window okay so then we are showing the window then again we are giving a delay then we are restoring that restoring that to the initial stage okay so what is the stage uh, of that particular session while uh, it is opening up it will get restored to that particular uh, size okay and uh, go to run file so initially it has to open up the uh, browser okay then it will minimize then it will maximize the window uh, yeah okay so now you can see our uh, browser got open now it will minimize the session okay now it got minimized then it will get maximized okay now it was maximized then it will get moved okay then it got a hide then show again then restore to the initial uh, stage okay so this was the initial stage okay so these are the different uh, actions which performed by this windows activity so i hope that is uh, uh, clear if there is any confusion regarding the usage of any of this activity please don't forget to comment uh, in the description we'll go through that and we'll try to uh, help you out to uh, use these activities in your automation okay so this is just a, a brief demo which help you to understand like where you can use these uh, activities uh, to um, make a proper automation okay so if you find this video useful uh, please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye